in this video I will take my upgraded ASP and take a look at thermal weapons. So you will see pulse lasers, burst lasers and beam lasers, 8 different variations of those lasers. And this time I will use multi cannons as a control. As we all know from video called fastest way to kill anaconda, multi cannons are only slightly worse than fragment cannons and are very good at killing big ships. But this time I will compare thermal weapons against small ships. So I am killing sidewinders, eagles and asps. My asp has best modules I could find and except shield generator all are rating A. My initial idea was to use two medium weapons, but when I spent two days and couldn't find burst laser, I had to abandon that. So instead I will use four small, and those are pulse laser, fixed, gimbaled, focused, gimbaled and low heat fixed, burst, fixed and gimbaled, beam, fixed and gimbaled. So I will compare those 8 weapons to multi-cannons. And while I was playing with weapons, I earned 341,000 in bounty watchers and reached novice ranking. But you will have to kill a lot of wanted ships. Next you will see footage from all combat. And in the end of this video, we will play with numbers again. So if you do not want to watch me fight, just go fast forward to the numbers section. First you will see control. This time I used multi cannons gimbal. If you do not want to watch all fights, you can fast forward to around 15 minutes and a half. There you will see all numbers and final conclusions. As usually gimbaled weapons work better if target is close and big enough. So this was control, now let's get straight to lasers. First is fixed pulse laser. And I will be shooting three ships each time. Sidewinder, Eagle and Asp. Small ships to see how gimbaled lasers work. And big ships to see how fast weapons overheat. With fixed weapons as you see you can hit target in distance easier. Now let's try gimbal pulse lasers.
With gimbal the weapon is easier to track targets close range. If you manage to keep target all the time in your field of view, it will be very good. I was lucky this time, because Asp did not leave my field of view and I hit all the time. And still weapons did not overheat. Almost there, but not enough. Target destroyed. Now let's try... Low heat pulse lasers. And it's very very weak weapon compared to any other. As you see how it's dropping very slowly. Nice paint job, eagle hat. Now pirates have green nice paint jobs sometimes. I had seen anaconda even with that paint job, looks pretty. With gimbal weapons I would have no problem hitting him. Is fixed, I need to keep him exactly in the middle of my screen under my aiming reticle. Scan detected. And now I use focused gimbal laser. And I really like how focused weapons work even on small ships. It's designed to be better against big ships. And again, if you use gimbal weapons, keep your target very close to you. And now against as. I did manage to overheat them. Target destroyed. And now fixed burst laser. Burst laser packs some serious punch compared to pulse laser if you manage to hit target.
also overheat much faster. He thought he can escape. Now eagle. Warning, under attack. Target shields offline. Eagle hull is made of paper. It's very weak. Target destroyed. Sidewinder is much stronger. Now let's get to gimbal burst lasers. Gimbal weapons are around 20 to 25 percent weaker than fixed ones, so you must choose what you want depending on who your enemy is and how you can fly, what your ship upgrades are. Let's try gimbal burst against Asp. And if you manage to keep close enough, your gimbal weapons will miss very few shots. And I overheat my gimbal burst lasers. So even with max upgrades, four small burst lasers will overheat your ass. And as you see from distance, they miss a lot of shots. You need to keep close to enemy. Target destroyed. Now let's try fixed beam laser. It's really impressive. But it's overheated even while I was killing Eagle. So overheating is really a problem. If your aim is good enough, this is most powerful beam weapon. Even Sidewinder overheat my four beam lasers. Target destroyed. Now let's try it against Asp. Watch the hull damage, just drops rapidly. So it's best laser against hull and shields, but it overheats really fast. For small are way too many if you are against bigger ships. And now, gimbaled beam lasers. If you manage to keep target close range, and target is big enough, they will not miss. But as beam laser is overheating very fast, shooting at targets in distance will make your guns close to useless. I did not like at all how gimbal beam laser works against the eagle and sidewinder, but against asp it's okay. Five thousand credit bounty. Okay, Sidewinder.
Let me start by saying that this is not exact science. Also, knowledge about exactly how much damage each weapon does will not help you at all, because it highly depends on your and enemy flying skills and ship upgrades. And as you saw, ASP with best upgrades can't handle overheating for small burst or beam lasers, and even pulse lasers will overheat over time. So let's start by comparing weapons against Sidewinder. Beam laser is best, as it does most damage per second, and Sidewinder is small and is killed faster than weapon is overheat. Also against shield, difference is only a couple seconds, from 2 to 5. Gimbaled lasers are easier to use against small and nimble Sidewinder, but you must be close enough to enemy. You can't let target to be too far away, then gimbaled weapons are useless. With fixed lasers, you need less shots to kill Sidewinder, and I read a post on forums where developers told that the difference between gimbaled and fixed weapons are around 20-25%, and that's exactly what I found out too. And low heat pulse lasers are too weak. And multi cannons gimbaled killed sidewinders in 11 seconds and shields in 3 seconds, so they did a pretty good job in killing shields. And 11 seconds is best time I had. So for sidewinder, beam and multi cannons are very comparable. As you see, Burst fixed took me only 18 shots and pulse focused gimbal 44. Beam lasers are excluded from this, obviously. Most lasers did their job in 12 to 19 seconds, so pretty close. Now let's take a look how weapons did against Eagle. Shields, beam fixed. Beam gimbal, burst fixed, pulse fixed. And as you see, it took me 2 to 5 seconds to kill shields, so all lasers did good job. What about kills? Beam fixed is the winner with 6 seconds. Only 6 seconds and eagle is dead. And multi cannons, it took 13 seconds to kill shields and 17 to kill eagles. Multi cannons are bad at taking down shields. So beam laser is best again. Again, shield difference is only a couple seconds for all lasers, and fixed weapons did more damage. If you can hit target, fixed weapon is obviously your choice. Pulse lasers do smallest damage to hull, and low heat pulse lasers are too weak again. And now let's compare weapons against ASP. So, beam fixed, burst fixed, pulse fixed did the best job against shields, 4, 5, 6, but all lasers again are only a couple seconds away one from another. And what about kills? I would not count Pulse Gimbaled Laser as a winner because ASP that I was shooting at never left my field of view, so 25 seconds I was shooting all the time. Usually I spend like extra 10 seconds chasing around enemy. But even with that, Pulse Gimbal did a nice job. I wouldn't call it a winner, but it's top 5 easily. Most lasers did kill ASP in around 30-40 seconds. And what about multi cannons? Gimbal multi cannons did the job in 40 seconds as well, so it's very comparable again to lasers. Damage them by burst and beam lasers evens out if you fire for a longer period of time because beam laser will overheat much more and you will be able to shoot burst laser more often. You can watch damage done per second or by shot when you are buying weapons, but you always must keep in mind that if you have not enough power capacitors, your weapon will overheat and you will be forced to stop using it until it cools down. And focused pulse laser did a good job too. After all, they are designed to kill bigger ships. But I couldn't find beam or burst focused lasers. And now let's take a look at all three kills. The winner is beam fixed, obviously. Pulse fixed, burst fixed, and then comes burst gimbaled, pulse focused gimbaled, 
but that's against shields. Multi cannon gimbal is last, as projectile weapons are very bad at taking down shields. But if we compare damage to hull, you can see that 30 seconds I killed three sheep hulls. The best beam fixed it took me 47 seconds, much more than multi cannons. That's why you should use together thermal weapons with projectile weapons. I would advise you to try burst and beam lasers on your ship to see how fast it overheats and decide how many you can use effectively and fill the rest hard points with projectile weapons. Currently multi cannons are best choice, but it depends what you are up against. Now let's take a look at kills. I killed all three ships with beam fixed in 55 seconds, burst 60. Pulse Focused Gimbal 66, Pulse Gimbal 67, Pulse Fixed 68, Multi Cannon 68. So there's really not much difference. And I did not like at all Gimbal Beam Laser, it missed a lot. So if you are against smaller ships and faster, do not use Beam Gimbal, better use Burst Gimbal. Also keep in mind that you can't use at same time fixed lasers and fixed projectile weapons. And there is only gimbaled version of multi-cannon. So if you want to use fixed lasers, you should use gimbaled multi-cannon. Unless you are making two different fire groups, then you can switch between them and use any weapons you like. My current setup for ASP is one medium beam laser fixed and five multi-cannon gimbaled so I can shoot same time both weapons. And bottom line is even ass with best upgrades can't handle four small burst or beam lasers long enough. So if you can find low heat versions of those, you should definitely buy them. But keep in mind that all of those numbers are only true for third beta, as we never know what changes will be done to weapons in gamma or in full release. But for now, it seems that all weapons actually are pretty close together and you just should find the best weapon for your flying skills and flying style. Thanks for watching this video.